Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word of encouragement is God said it's time for you to turn to me. I am a jealous God. I want everyone to understand that God is a jealous God. If God see that you're not giving him attention, if God see that you doing things, just out of his will and he see that you giving people more attention he's jealous so if you giving people more attention than you give it to God you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say God I'm sorry and I repent you need to apologize to God because God is a jealous God God can stop and he can remove people from you in Isaiah 44 and 22 it reads turn back to me I have rescued you and swept away your sins as though they were clouds. God want us to live a holy life. God want us to be like him. God want us to understand that our ways have to change and be like him. So whatever you're not doing, you need to repent. You need to ask God to help you to stay focused. You have to stay focused on God and allow God to be first. When you allow God to be first in your life, God will help you with everything else. But you have to understand that God has swept away your sins. When God has swept away your sins, he is saying, okay, I'm going to help you. I got you. I'm going to help you to do better. I'm going to help you, you know, to get to where you need to go. God want us to be like him. So he want us to stop doing things out of his will. What is out of his will? Sinning, doing wrong, anything that is doing wrong out of his will. That is sin. We have to learn how to confess our sins to God and turn back to him. Turn back to God and say, God, here am I. Save me. God, here am I. Deliver me. You want to come to God the way you are. Come to him the way that you are so he can clean you up. And I want you to understand, God will clear away your sin. God will wash you. He will free you from anything that you're dealing with. Whatever you're going through, I want you to know that God is getting ready to clean you. God is getting ready to rescue you in this time because you really need God. You've been going through a lot of changes. You've been going through a lot of confusion and you like, God is me. And I don't know why I'm going through all of this at one time. I want you to understand that God loves you very much. He loves you very much and he wants you to learn how to obey him. You have to learn how to put God first. When we put God first, God can do everything for us. And he will guide us and lead us and direct us to where he wants us to go. God is a jealous God. So listen, if you don't have God first, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, God, fix me. I'm sorry. I repent. We need to start repenting. We're not better than no one. God said, it's time for you to turn to me. I am a jealous God. God is a jealous God. He wants your attention. Whatever you're not doing that is giving God attention, reading your Bible, seeking, putting him first, doing whatever, he needs your attention. God wants our attention. So if we're not giving God our attention, we're not growing. We're not growing at all because we're giving everybody our attention. You got to allow God to do what he needs to do in your life. Stop trying to be like the world and be like God. Stop trying to be a follower and be a leader. Stop trying to be like everybody else and let God be your teacher. God want to lead you the right way that you should go. So come back to God and turn away from sin, turn away from all of that stuff and turn back to God because he wants you. God wants you to remove yourself from sin, lust, fornication. Come back to God before it's too late. You know, God loves you very much. He wants you to learn how to repent, get yourself baptized, go to a church, fellowship with a church that loves God. Find a church home and make sure it's a church home that you can connect with. Don't be just going to any church. Make sure your spirit connects to it. If your spirit not connected to that church, and that's not the church that you're supposed to go to at all. 
I want to say, start praying over you, start praying over your family, and ask God to help you. And turn back to God. He loves you very much. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be delivered. So if anything is in you that's not right, get back on your knees and say, Lord, make me over again. Lord, I'm sorry. I repent. And you want to tell God that you repent because there's a lot of things that we go through. We don't like to tell people what we're going through. But I'm telling you, learn how to turn to God and give God your way. And when you give God your way and God will say, okay, I see what you're going through and let me change you. Let me fix you. Let me tell you what you need to do. God can fix a sinner. God can fix anybody if you want to be fixed. Your heart has to be right. If you want God to fix you, say it out your mouth. Lord, I want you to fix me. I want you to make me over. And he will do it. Turn back to God. God bless you. Be encouraged. Don't give up, but pray about all things. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Keep your head up and be strong. Stay blessed.